Hello everyone. Um, I'm coming to you today to share one of my most favorite things to do, wrap presents. I love to unwrap presents, but I really love to wrap them and I love making my own bows. Um, so I was just going to jump on here, show you a few of the ways that I wrap and also um, a couple of ways to do some bows that are really easy. But I don't want you to feel like you need to go out and purchase a bunch of stuff if you don't already have it to wrap your packages and do your bows. That's not what this is about. Um, if you're a crafter like me or a DIYer, you probably have closets and drawers full of stuff if you just look around. So um, check what you already have. And if you have some of these things, simple things like Christmas ornaments, some ribbon, you'll see. Um, like I said, it's just to give you a few ideas to get your mind thinking of what you might have. And it also depends on who you're giving the gift to. Um, so once again, I just wanted to share a few tips with you of, of how I decorate, how I wrap my presents, how I do my bows, and hopefully you'll be able to take some of this and use it for your presents. Family of Flair Safety Tip. Just a little tip. Don't get so carried away that you throw your tissue paper and it lands on the candle. Not saying that I've ever done that or anything, but I'm just saying, be careful. Okay, here I'm showing you that take the right side of your package and flip it over so that that's the top because when you finish wrapping it, you're going to turn it back over to the top. Um, and then here I'm just trying to show you on your ends and then as you come up on your box, you want to make sure your paper comes at least halfway so that when you put them both together, it's gonna, they're going to touch and you, your paper will be big enough and you won't have to cut it out again like I've had to do sometimes because I didn't get my paper big enough. Now, once you get your tape put on there, your back taped together, then you can see here, you're just gonna turn your sides in. And then there on that little tip, that's just to kinda, a lot of times I'm not the best cutter with scissors. And um, so if you fold that over a little bit, it just makes it look a lot neater and it'll be straight when you bring it up to tape it. Here, I'm trying to give you a little bit better view. Um, it's a little awkward kinda doing it that way. Um, but hopefully you can see a little bit better on how to fold in your paper. And a good thing to keep in mind is if your paper is too long, you're going to have a really hard time doing this. So if it, you're really struggling and you have a lot of paper, just cut a little bit of it off and it will work a lot easier. You're just going to tape those sides down. Once again, you're going to take and fold that rough edge down to make a nice kind of seam and lay it flat. And then you're just going to tape that down. And you always, you'll see here in a minute, I'm pointing you the, to the direction of the bottom of the package. You always want to make sure that you're putting all of that towards the back um, and the bottom so that when you flip it over, everything's going to look nice and neat right here. Look at, that's the back of the package. There it is. Now I picked this one to show you because a lot of times it's hard. We have weird shaped items. Maybe you don't have a box for it or a package. No problem. Um, you just kind of have to be patient and work with it. Put your candle or whatever it is in the middle of your paper. And then you're just going to kind of gather it like you're making a basket, a gift basket, if you saw that video. And you're going to pull it all towards the middle and just fold down the sides and use your hand and kind of bring it together. And be very careful so that you don't rip your paper. And then take your ribbon and you want to tie it around there to secure it. And you want to get that good and tight. And then there you go. You've got a odd shaped package that's going to look so cute.
Okay, in this video, I'm trying to show you several different ways to do your bows so that they're not all the same. This is a really simple way. You just actually kind of uh, overlap your, your ribbon together and then just kind of take your fingers and uh, push it together in the middle. Now, what you're fixing to see is I'm going to tie this ribbon around to kind of cinch it up in the middle. And then I'm going to actually take the glue gun and glue it on. You do not have to do that. You can use the ribbon that you tied around your package there to secure your bow if you don't want to mess with getting the glue gun out. Um, you don't have to use the glue gun at all. You can just uh, secure that with your ribbon just like you saw me tie that little piece of gray ribbon on there to cinch it up you would just put your bow up there and use the ribbon that's already there to tie it to the package and then of course you would have to use the glue gun for this little ornament but that's just an option it's just a cutesy and it, you know if you don't want to use that your package is still going to be gorgeous then at the top you're just trimming it off a little bit sometimes it gets a little wacky or a little tall so just trim it down until you like how it looks coffee break As I was saying, you don't have to use the glue gun. Here's one where I'm using the ribbon that's already on the package to secure the bow. You just wanna make sure you get that really good and tight. And then always with your bows, you have to go back and just really fluff. And it's, it's always good to use wired ribbon. And with that wired ribbon, it'll pretty much do whatever you want it to. So just be patient, go back, fluff it up, move it around, um, you know, Push it in, pull it out, whatever you need to do to um, get it to look the way that you want it. But that's an example there of you don't have to use the glue gun at all. Just use your existing ribbon. Okay, in this one, I'm showing you uh, how I'm really just kind of combining some different ribbons. Um, I didn't have enough of this truck ribbon to do the whole bow that way. So I just used a solid red to tie on the package. And then as you can see, I'm just piecing together the truck ribbon and that's fine. It doesn't have to be one long piece as long as you come up with, you know, you can make your loops. Now I'm even adding another ribbon in there um, and it's just a little red and white gingham that's going to be so cute with this. Um, but I just wanted to give you an idea and show you how, you know what, you can mix and match. You can use different colors. You can use different textures. You don't have to always just use one. Uh, so a lot of times when I'm trying to get rid of some of my ribbon or, you know, there's not a whole lot left and I want to kind of use it up, uh, that's a really good time to do that. Just start looking at what goes together what you like together uh, the colors that blend together and then um, just combine them and you'll see that um, they turn out absolutely adorable
Okay, now this is just one big full bow with all the same ribbon, and um, I'm attaching it with the ribbon there at the box or on the package. And look, here I'm fluffing it out like I'd said, you know, just kind of go in there and make sure you pull all of those loops apart. And then um, I added the little green ornament because I thought it would be cute just to put a little pop of color in there. You'll notice that most all that I'm doing is red and white, but um, we kind of have that theme going on. And so I'm keeping that uh, theme with my packages as well. And you'll notice there I was trimming the ends of the ribbon. And that's one thing I did want to point out is always make sure when you're doing your bows that you trim the ends. You can do the dovetail, you can cut them slanted, however you want. But you always want to make sure that you trim those ends because that gives it a really um, finished um, kind of high end look to it when you trim those ends off. Okay, and I realize that not everybody likes to do bows, and even if you do like to do bows, you may not have time to do them all. Or if you're like me, a lot of times my husband, he does, he wraps and he does a really good job, but he's not probably gonna make a bow. So there's all kinds of beautiful bows that you can purchase, and um, that's what I was doing here on this package, is just showing you how you combine a purchased bow with your ribbon and you still have a gorgeous package. Now this one is a little bit different. Um, again, I just wanted to give you plenty of options. I don't know if you're familiar or not with raffia. That's what this is. This is a really, really simple option. Um, it's very easy to work with. It's very inexpensive and um, it's kind of a little bit quicker if you're in a hurry. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of just grabbing some. I, here, I'm using three different colors together. You don't have to do that. You can do one color or as many as you want. You can, you know, include the colors of the rainbow. Um, but you just want to make sure that you get it full. So if you're using one, you want to make a lot of loops. If you're using, I'm using three different colors here. So I think I've got, I've done it, maybe looped it about six times. But you just gather all that together and then you're going to use the ribbon that you've already put on your package. You're going to tie that right in the middle. Make sure you get it tight, but be careful not to break the ribbon because that will happen. But that's really simple, really cute. 